Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Gary and welcome back to another Fabrication Basics video where we're taking very simple operations, basic fabrication stuff for those people out there that are not experienced and maybe don't have any experience at all. For you guys that are experts and know everything about this stuff, let me know what you think. What did I do wrong? If you have any ideas, thoughts, inputs on how I can do it better, I'd love to hear uh, your comments. Uh, this video we're going to um, do a common kind of shop uh, machining exercise and make some T nuts um, for the T slots on the new, well, the, the mill. And, um, you know, so welding tables, uh, milling machines, um, rotary tables, drill presses all use T slots and T nuts. And uh, so it's a common thing to have to make. So, uh, yeah, let's get. Well, we got our tea uh, made there out of the uh, bar stock and we were using a um, that is a three-quarter inch roughing four flute uh, carbide end mill I've had this for a long time and uh, it's three-quarter inch the other mill the little grizzly just would not run it um, so it's basically unused and it's pretty nice to be able to put it to use although it's really maybe a little bit on the big side for this machine um, but it handled it okay. All right, so to drill the holes, we're gonna use a center drill to get it started. And I'm going 7 16 20. A lot of the T-nuts have a fine thread um, on them. And um, I actually, you know, messed up and I've got this a little bit too narrow to make a 5 8 I'm sorry, a half inch. So we're gonna go 7 16 It'll work for this. So we're gonna start off with a little, it's just a random drill bit to get some size in there. And then we're gonna do the tap drill size of, I believe this is 20, I think it's 25 64, somewhere around there. Um, whatever the tap drill size is, is what we're using. So we'll take you along with us and uh, get one completely drilled and tapped. And then uh, I'll finish the rest of them off camera and we'll resume cutting them uh, into the T-nuts over at the bandsaw here in a little bit.
All right, we're all finished up here. You know, that rough and mill leaves, uh, um, leaves all those serrations in it. I could have came, came back with a finishing mill and end mill and clean that up, but it'll work for this. So they're fitting in here pretty good. I would say they're just a, you know, probably a touch looser than they should be. But we'll make some more at some point, get them tightened down, but they'll work for They'll work for what we're doing here.